goals are to, you know, always put in, you know, the work preseason and in the off season to really set ourselves up for a great spring. Um, the team has worked really, really hard, coming off a good year last year, a disappointing finish um, at the end, um, but really feeling we're in a good place, strong leadership, great senior class, uh, a lot of depth on this team, so we're just really excited to get them out there preseason and get some games in. We feel good. I mean, we've had them in, you know, since February 1 as a team, you know, did individuals before that when classes began. But really, it began in September with our offseason. I think this team put a lot of work in their strength and conditioning, their flexibility work, uh, their offseason training. Uh, it really started with that, and I think the team's really come together well. You know, the weeks we've been together with individuals and full team practice have gone well. We're trying to stay ahead of the snow here and just get the, you know, get the practices in and get the work in. We're really excited to open in a few weeks. Laura and uh, Katie have just done a phenomenal job, I think, bringing the team together, really setting a high standard for effort and work and expectations for the year. So they really have set a good pace for things. Um, just the larger senior class that we have is just a special class. Uh, They've been strong contributors all four years. Um, they really have you know, set a pace for this year that's been strong. They're all on the same page. They work together well. I can't say enough about what they've brought to the team this year and their leadership for everybody on the team. It's really been great you know, as coaches to see their growth over four years and to really see what they're doing as seniors this year. We're really proud of them. Well, we're kind of fighting right now in practice for those spots that are kind of open. I mean, I think our our freshmen are pushing some of our seniors. Uh, we have some sophomores that are going to get more time this year. We you know, had a good senior class last year um, with Casey and Shelby and Allie, all three graduated. So there's, there are a few spots that you know, everyone's kind of vying for and really the underclassmen are really challenging some of the starting seniors. So it's been great in practice to have every day you know, a competitive, competitive day within the team and it's been fun to see them kind of you know, go at each other a little bit. So, you know, that remains to be seen. We're going to have to get out there and put everybody in these spots. But early on, it's just been a great team atmosphere that they're coming out every day competing in practice. Yeah, we, we feel good about the schedule. We get to go down to Florida and open up. Um, Eastern Michigan's hoping, hosting a new tournament down there that we jumped on. We're excited to get uh, down there and get five games in. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll go down to South Carolina for a Saturday-Sunday tournament. And then we're off for a weekend for midterms, which works out well with our, our schedule. And then we head to California, as we've done you know, the last several years, for spring break. And we'll get you know, 11 games in you know, during that period. So we're really trying to get in you know, 20 to 23 games before we start conference and really get ourselves to be a pretty seasoned team and get a good game plan in place for conference. I think the conference play we're really excited about this year. I think you know, a lot of teams have brought in some strong uh, players. Everybody's getting better each and every year, so we really feel like the conference race is going to be a dogfight. Uh, we're really excited, you know, building on what we did last year pretty consistently in conference, and we know it's going to be even tougher this year, and that's what makes it really special.